Hello and welcome back to another video. This problem we're differentiating the function f of x is equal to x over x plus c over x. Now you could go ahead and start right with the quotient rule, but what we're actually going to do is we're going to simplify this fraction a little bit. So this is x over, and if we want to simplify this, we want to get it into a common denominator, because then we can get it under one fraction. So x, if we want to get it over x, we have to multiply x times x over x. This is multiplying it by 1, so it doesn't change its value, obviously, plus c over x. This is equal to, writing it over here so we have space, x over x times x is x squared over x. And again, you'll see that this is still equal to x plus c to the x. Now, these have a common denominator, so you can add the numerators. So x squared plus c over x. Think of this as x divided by this, x squared plus c over x. And if you want to have it multiplying, you have to flip the thing that is dividing it. So this is this is equal to x times the flipped version of this, which is x over x squared plus c. Simplifying this, x times x in the numerator is x squared over x squared plus c. And this is f of x. And this is easier to find the derivative of than this because with this fraction within a fraction, you'd have a quotient rule within a quotient rule, which can get complicated. But anyways, we have the derivative using the quotient rule now. With this fraction, we have the denominator times the derivative of the numerator minus the numerator times the derivative of the denominator. This is all over the denominator squared. Simplifying this, now we get x squared plus c times the derivative of x squared, which we find by, since it's a power function, bringing down the exponent with a new exponent is the old one minus 1. So 2 minus 1 is 1, so x to the first power, which is just x, minus x squared times the derivative of x squared we just found was 2x, plus the derivative of c. c is just some constant, so its derivative is 0, so this is 2x plus 0. So we don't have to even write that, over x squared plus c times x squared plus c. Now, this is equal to 2x squared times x is x cubed plus 2cx minus 2x squared times x is x cubed over x to the fourth plus cx squared plus another cx squared is 2cx squared plus c squared. And this is equal to 2x cubed minus 2x cubed is 0, so we're just left with 2cx on top over x to the fourth plus 2cx squared plus c squared. And this is your derivative. As always, thank you for liking and subscribing, and I'll see you in the next video.